So here we have a state machine that needs to receive the data and give an acknowledgement. Okay. And uh, we have a problem, we are facing a problem that uh, nothing is happening. So what you see on the screen, these are the activity from the state machine. Nothing is happening in the state machine and we want to find out why. So we trigger on a signal which is called timeout. So the state machine receives a signal, it gives some acknowledgement. But if it doesn't receive a signal for some time, it uh, stops responding and gives a timeout. So there is a timeout over here, timeout flag. So we will trigger on this timeout flag and find out why the state machine is not uh, responding. Right. So uh, secondly, we will uh, show you a demo of FPGAs. Now, before showing you a demo, let's discuss on how do we debug FPGAs. Uh, FPGAs are field programmable gate arrays which, which are in fact uh, uh, reconfigurable ICs, reconfigurable chips wherein you can create a code and download data onto it and you can create a circuit uh, as per the code you download onto it. So you can design a counter in an FPGA, you can design a state machine in an FPGA, you can design any circuit and you just need to download the circuit after creating the, uh, uh, in a, in creating the circuit in a tool. But how do you debug it? Now, when we create a circuit on a physical board with different ICs, we have access to different signals. Because we can probe different signals and we have access to it. But considering an FPGA, an FPGA, because it's a chip and uh, it's a programmable chip, all the circuitry, the nodes are inside the FPGA. We cannot probe through uh, onto an FPGA. So we need to bring the signals out in some way and probe it. So we have uh, we have partnered with the Xilinx and Ultra, which are two leading companies of FPGAs, and created uh, certain tools called an FPGA Dynamic Probes, which help you to capture the internal signals of FPGAs with a limited number of pins, which are uh, called I/O pins used on the FPGA. So this can be done without stopping the FPGA, without changing any code, without doing any compilation, etc. So we use a very uh, smart uh, trick or we use a very smart method here and that is called a multiplexer technique. So you can see we have a board, uh, a PC board, we have a FPGA chip on the board and uh, inside the FPGA chip because it's reconfigurable, we can also add some code to it, we add some debug code to it and that occupies a very small amount of slices or the gates on the FPGA. This code is called an Agile Trace Code, it is nothing but a multiplexer. So you can see a small multiplexer with multiple inputs and some few outputs uh, uh, inside the FPJ that can be downloaded into the FPJ and that has been designed by Xilinx as well as by Altera in partnership with Agile. And with these uh, you can multiplex the different internal signals into a few set of debug pins and you can connect a system like a logic analyzer which is very capable of capturing a large amount of data at very high speed. And uh, you can see the signals onto the uh, logic analyzer. So one by one you can multiplex different signals and then uh, see the signals onto the uh, uh, logic analyzer screen.